Hey loves, so we're gonna start off with this quick or uh, long tutorial. This hair was sent to me by Ali Pearl and I got it a few months ago. It is in the 613, it's three bundles. I think it was 20, 20 and 18 inches and a lace frontal. I'll definitely leave all of the specs in the description bar below. So I went to Sally's and I picked up some hair color. The young lady said I can use this, which was the color Brilliance by Ion. And I also did have this already on hand, which was the Manic Panic and also I I wanted to purchase this which was another color brilliance and it looked like a salmon color as it states on the actual packaging it's a salmon color I also did have this already which was a colorista I can't remember offhand who it was by but it's the peach color and I wanted to give this a try and color blend it in but I had to go back to Sally's because the original dark brown that the young lady gave me was incorrect that needed basically like some developer with it so I had to go back and return it so overall the beginning of the video experience was not that great so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush this dark brown onto the roots it's not a dark brown but it's a medium brown and this is the one that you don't have to mix together and that's what I was going for the first one that I did show you you had to mix it with like a developer and I really wasn't into all doing all of that I just wanted to get it over and done with so I'm just gonna take this little brush that came with the colorista brand the drugstore brand um, dye and I'm just going to brush that into the roots of the hair this brush is easier it's smaller and it just makes life much more or simple and I will be honest to tell you this whole entire process of just doing the roots of a frontal can take so much time like for real it is very time consuming so I would suggest like you know being patient sometimes you got to walk away from things I wouldn't suggest walking away from you know finishing the dyeing on the actual frontal but once you're done with that portion just put it down and take a break um, another easy method would be just to have it on a mannequin head as you will see me doing that later on in this video now this was supposed to be like a medium brown like I said and when I actually finally was able to you know finish dyeing the roots and washing it off and allowing it to air dry it did not look anything like the color on the box or the color that I actually painted on the color actually was like a reddish auburn brown especially in the light once you went outside with it it was really auburn brown so as you can see the roots did not look like a medium brown they even look more redder when you bring it into like light or or just outside or just in front of a light bulb it looks totally different so I went back to Sally's I returned the the original one um, the first one that I was dying to hear with and they will return your money to you if you don't like the color as long as you bring the packaging back so I returned that and I got some different hair dye which is like a darker brown just to go over that I didn't really want to have to do all of this but you know it is what it is so this is what the roots look like now and only one little portion seep through this is the argon oil like medium dark brown that I'm using this time around and for the most part it came out okay but still the color was not the like the dark that I needed it to be but in the end it kind of did work out so we'll definitely get to that part so as you guys see, I'm just going to do the roots of the actual um, bundles because I do like to keep the roots like dark in case, you know, the hair moves or the wind blows or just for just for certain reasons only. Now that I've finished that portion, I have allowed it to air dry after washing it out. I'm going to just pick a few pieces of the hair loose and these pieces that I'm just flipping over right here with my rat tail comb, they're going to be used just to highlight. I'm not going to take the entire boxes of the salmon and paint the entire hair with it I just wanted to highlight with it so I'm gonna cut the bottom portion of the Eon or the Ion salmon tube out and I'm just going to put that in my mixing bowl and then because it looks so pink in person I went ahead and I used some of my Manic Panic, which just makes the colors a lot lighter. For real, it did not look anything like the box color. It was not peachy-like at all. It was very bright pink, so I was trying to dye it down 
Oh, I should have just returned it back to Sally's, but I was so tired of going back and forth to that store. So I decided just to kind of like wing it and hopefully hope for the best. Now this is the color that the Ion should have been, which was like the Colorista. It was more or less like that peachy orange color. No, as you guys see, as I'm painting it on, it was totally pink, pink, pink. I'm going to kind of like use the Colorista peach color at the tips, but I won't do that throughout the entire unit i'll just do it through some of it because like i said it did start to be get time consuming plus i didn't really think the colorista would hold too well because it is very watery based it's not as thick as like the ion or any other dyes it's very watery and very creamy it reminds me of like a cheap lotion at the dollar store now i have seen a lot of videos and people have got great color results from using colorista but your hair has to be really really light in order for any results to kind of like shine so i just use a little bit it doesn't have a bad odor or anything I left this hair dye on for like 24 hours because it doesn't have any type of harsh chemicals in either one of them so it's safe to leave the hair dye on for 24 hours the longer you leave the hair dye on the better the hair dye will adhere to the hair so I have two different bowls one is the bowl with the manic panic mixed in it so you do see it's coming out a little bit lighter pink and then the other bowl is just the original ion the one thing that really upset me was the fact that it said salmon and the color is like a hot pink honestly once I finished this entire wig or I finished the process of doing this hair it was so bright pink this is like Halloween color pink there's no way that I would even dare to make this into a wig so now we're going to strip the hair color out because I really don't like it. So I do have some vitamin C pills. You do need the pills, not the capsules. I have the 500 milligram and I have the head and shoulders version or the Walmart version of head and shoulders, which is Equate. You will need to crush these pills. So it doesn't really say how many you need to use. So I just wing it. Like I said, I did get them from Walmart. It comes with like either 250 or 500. I'll definitely make sure to post it below. And I just put them in a blender until they get really powdery. And yeah, I do apologize for the powder and I just pour enough of the Equate version of head and shoulders into the bowl. You do need a bowl for this and um, even if you're going to do this on your head you will need a bowl for this and you want to mix it up really well. You don't want it to be too thick and you definitely don't want it to be so runny so you want to make sure that the consistency is kind of like um, a creamy paste kind of like um, texture kind of like sour cream texture or t um, you know kind of like that and as you guys see I'm going to go ahead and then run some really 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 hot water into my sink this hot water is just going to make the hair bleed and it's going to also help strip the color out so you can either put some really really hot water in a sink or you can just boil some water on the stove and make it really hot and just dip, dip the hair in and out of it I did this for several minutes I actually worked on another wig that I did um, but the hair was a dark brown and it came out a lot easier this one as you guys see the water is turning really pink and it didn't remove all of the color but it did bring and dye it down it did like dull it down which I was happy about that because it was very very pink so once you dip the hair in the hot water you do you do want to make sure you do that because the hot water will also open the follicles up of the actual hair which will make the hair dye a lot easier to come out so I just did this for a second time and I'm now going to go ahead and put this hair into a bowl if you're doing this on your head you're still going to want to make sure that your hair has warm water on it and you're going to want to rinse that out and you're going to want to put the paste mixture onto your hair so once you put this in the bowl you'll just want to make sure that it's saturated through the hair and just get it in there really good and it kind of doesn't smell that great but it doesn't smell that bad either and you want to put some type of coverage over it I'm going to use a plastic bag it doesn't have to be a aluminum foil you want to make sure that there's something over it just to keep the heat in and you can keep this on for like a couple hours the longer you keep it on the um the better it is you can't keep it on for 24 hours but I did leave it on for like about three and then I went ahead and rinsed it out so all this is is the actual you know conditioner or shampoo um, and the pills the, the pills and the shampoo mixed together and it makes like this very pasty kind of like mixture now it is really tangled looking but no worries I did get that out with conditioner What's up guys? So this is going to be actually the third time for me filming this video. Simply 
because for one I wasn't too happy with the first one I didn't like how I did like the hairline so I wanted to perfect it then when I did it the second time I just realized I really did not like how the actual lace color was in the unit so I wasn't like too fond of it for the purpose of this video I'm going to try out this new gel by Walmart which is the Equate brand this is like the equivalent to the got to be gel it's right next to it in the store Walmart has come out with a lot of other gels that I've noticed and it does stay super strong hold for multiple multitude of hairstyles it also has like the same consistency so I'm not really sure how it's going to work but we are going to try it out hopefully it works out in my favor I'm not really sure if it's going to I have high hopes that it does okay guys so let's get into this tutorial we're going to use this equate version of the got to be i'm just going to brush the hairs up away from the hairline so that way when i do put this equate got to be gel down it doesn't catch onto the hair so it is white as you see as just like the original consistency of the got to be to me it just feels a little bit more smoother I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing but you know we're just gonna wing it normally I would do it a little bit different than this I would more or less adhere my wig cap down so that way it wouldn't slide around in my wig um, after like a few hours or days but I'm not going to keep this wig on for a few days I did actually keep it on overnight but that was the most so I'm going to use my blow dryer dryer and I'm just going to allow it to get kind of like tacky feeling just as we would do the got to be gel it was really smooth and to put on I did notice like a different in the consistency the got to be gel to me seems a little bit more oilier um, and it does take a little bit longer to dry versus this one here okay so we're gonna try a second layer like we do with the got to be from what I'm feeling it doesn't feel as sticky as the got to be but you know it's not all the way dry this honestly feels like like a cream okay guys so now for the second layer I wasn't really going to do a second layer because I didn't want to keep the wig on for too long but I decided you know what if I'm going to test this out and try it and see if it is comparable to the got to be I should do it exactly the same so now that I've done with the second layer I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry it as we would normally so that way once it gets a little bit tackier I can go ahead and adhere the wig to my head so I'm just going to go ahead and place this down onto my hairline or before my hairline and it is um, it does get tacky and it does actually stick I'm just going to reposition position it before it gets too tacky and too dry now unfortunately I did put a little bit too much glue on past where I would normally do it but you know that's okay I'll just clean it up afterwards I'm pretty sure we all do that I do that a lot even with the hairspray and mousse when I apply it but you know what nothing like a good washcloth or cloth and it'll clean it right on up so I'm just going to go ahead and press down into the unit and blow dry it so that way it becomes dry as well as that as it's just able to stick and I also do this with all of my wig units when I'm using like the got to be gels or actual glue and I'm going to also go ahead and take my mousse so that way I can form my part now as you guys see in the actual lace the lace I'm not like a huge fan of for Ali Pearl because it's still a white color the lace seems really thick so it wasn't able to kind of like um, it wasn't able to just melt or disappear into my skin the lace seemed thicker than most frontal laces that I have ever worked with so I will say that they do need to work on the frontal of the 613s I'm not really sure about their darker colors but for the 613 the frontal lace was kind of thick thicker than normal and it was actually more whitish tone so this would have not blended in any women woman of colors scalp and it doesn't even blend in mine so I'm just going to take some of my baby hairs and I'm just going to kind of try to camouflage the lace because there's nothing that I really can do about that I did try to bleach it and so forth but it still just looks the same and it does kind of look like probably white roots from camera but that's actually the white lace that you see and I'm going to also use my barrel curler just to flatten down or straighten the edges out so that way it lays, you know, lays properly. I'm going to try this Sally Hansen leg spray that I'll use all the time on like my legs, but it didn't work out. I gave it like this tannish color, brassy color, wasn't working out either. 
so I'll just style the wig a different way so that way there isn't a part and I don't have to worry about the actual part and as you guys see right here the Sally Hansen in the part it didn't work out either so either way the white scalpage or the Sally Hansen leg spray just didn't do it for this lace frontal like I said the lace is very thick and it's just very like non-transparent so I'm just going to take my favorite wand curler which is my irresistible me and I'm going to just curl it up and style it and you guys I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the finished look This is actually the finished look. I actually do like this a lot better than the first and second time that I did the video. I just styled it totally different. And being that the lace frontal is like this yellowish whitish color, I just went ahead and just did a flip over method so that way you don't have to see the parting in it. Because regardless of what, it's still very noticeable even with the makeup on it. So to avoid all of that, I just did the flip over method. So as for the Walmart brand Equate Gel, okay? Is it comparable to got to be? So my opinion, in my opinion, the wig is stuck. It's not going anywhere. I put two layers on as you've seen um, and it's just very comparable. It's $2.47 that I spent for this and it's six ounces. It's the same size as the got to be gel unless you get like the extra large. But yeah, it does work just as well as the got to be. They don't have anything in clear. I was looking for that, but Walmart only makes this one, the yellow one, which has the white, res white consistency. So I would definitely say try this product out and let me know your thoughts about it. But for the most part, this came out really nice. I'm happy. It kind of reminds me of strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake as a kid. I will say I don't really like the lace on the front two. I think they need to work on them. They're a little bit thicker to me, and I don't really like the color too much but overall the hair has been through trial and error and through a lot and it definitely deserves a thumbs up in my opinion just I feel like they need to work on the lace so you guys I hope you enjoyed this full long tutorial on this unit let me know what you think of her and on that note I love you guys stay deep and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and all the information will be in the box and I'll see you guys on the next go round